running late. I got about 15 minutes of driving to get to an auction that starts in about 20 minutes. This is the back road better. So this auction is, this is day two of a two day auction. I didn't go to the first day. So I'll get you some footage. I'm not used to going to auctions on Sunday mornings. I'm hoping that being Sunday morning, maybe it'll be a smaller crowd. And maybe I can get some great deals for a reasonable price to pass on to my consumers. But uh, I'll get you some footage. Thanks for joining me. I am the back road better, the one and only. Prepare to be amazed. I had a great auction today. I spent. I think 91 bucks. 91 dollars. Testing one, two, three. Sorry if I'm a little hoarse. We got bad air quality here the last few days because of the fires out west. But uh, I'll do my best. And let's take a look, shall we? Maybe your attention, please. Gather around the wagon next to the truck here and get the sale started. <laughs> Dollar from bounce, those three boxes to go, would you give a dollar for? I'll take a half, 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 right, just run around Jerry, would you give a half a dollar for it, half a dollar? If you only five plugs, then half a dollar, half a dollar, half a dollar. Let's put something else along with the band if you would, please. What's, what's in that next tote right there? What's in the next tote, the blue one? Puzzles. Puzzles and cookbooks right here. Games. Uh, games. 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 It's weird in an auction because sometimes what they write down on the list isn't what you think of the lot as being like you think of it oh there's a lot of video games with some glassware and stuff and the auctioneer might write down glassware so sometimes it's hard for me to tell you what i paid but just keep in mind it was 91 dollars for everything and i got a lot of great deals <laughs> this tub of miscellaneous that's it because i paid 17.50 for this tote right here. And I didn't actually get a chance to check all the boxes, but Donkey Kong's in there. We got game cartridges and boxes. I don't know what they're worth. Um, it's a television game, but it's for the Atari system. I think. No, this is for intelligent in television game system. Oh, I thought they were Atari games. Oh, interesting. I have no idea what these are worth. <laughs> My bad. Here, I thought I was buying buying Atari games because Intellivision did make games for the Atari system. Got some of the classics in here. Burger time. I loved this game. Nine games. Hopefully I come out ahead there. What's this? Ideal food chopper. Is it actually in here? It is. I don't know if that's worth anything or not. This one has the tooth. It's one tote. One dollar, her number today is 28. Two eight, one dollar, two eight, one time. And we also try to three plates for a dollar. This I got with that. So this is originally from 1983, and it's Cabbage Patch Kids uh, stroller. This came with those uh, in television games. I have no idea what that's worth. It's in really good shape. No rust. The wheels all seem to spin good. What are 
of these. Oh, that's the cutest thing I ever saw. Samuel Butcher Company. They look like precious moments, except they're kind of... I don't know what they are. Don't know. Very cheesy and sappy, and somebody might love them. If I don't tell you what I paid for them, I don't know what I paid for it. Like this flat, for instance, just came with some other things, so... I don't know if these even flow. Cups, sippy cups are worth something. It's a nice anvil pruner. Somebody probably wants this. Not me though. Hundred percent virgin wool. Acrylic fiber. I don't know what that means, but there's some cool stuff in here. You just wait. I just gotta dig through the crap first. Three-piece stemmed candle holder set. Home interiors. I believe that's brand new. Some old home interior stuff gets some money. In these jars with caps. Sometimes people want those. This one's a ball jar, ideal. Man, there's some dust in there. Can't figure out why I'm sniffly. This is a Tupperware lid, and I happen to know it goes to the measuring bowl because I know a lot about Tupperware. So uh, I can probably sell this on its own. I believe that's brass and it's kind of cool I don't know if it's just a planter or what but I like it I bought this box because of this I've done very well with Corningware coffee pots in the past this doesn't have the gut guts to it but people still use them as like teapots I like this short one actually. It looks like it's never been used. Don't be afraid of the, uh, that's called the cornflower pattern. A lot of people think it's not worth anything, but it, people still buy it. it. It buys, it sells, it buys, it sells. All right, I paid a dollar for all of these uh, sewing and quilting books. Got a whole big box of them. This is actually a sewing machine owner's manual. I don't know if it's got value or not. Family Circle Weekend Crafts. Oh, there's patterns and stuff. Oh, interesting. Spinning spools. All right, some more patterns for some crafts. And look at this dust, look at it. That's insane. And there's more, 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 more crochet. Country Christmas, etc., etc. I paid a buck for that box. This lot of dolls I paid 50 cents for. It's literally a big armful. There's two Cabbage Patch dolls in here. This one's exposing or so. And then I got a bunch of like these with porcelain heads. Summer Breeze collection. 
but at least you know they look, smell fresh. There's the other cabbage patch. I don't know anything about dolls. Nothing at all. It was 50 cents. Couldn't just walk away. Most of these have stands, which is cool. Vintage right guard aerosol. I'm just gonna do a little test. It sprays. Oh, it smells like every locker room in the 80s. Every boy's locker room in the 80s. That's a toothpaste. And kitchen shears. Ooh, and a thing. That might be. This might be a thing. Made in Taiwan. Sweet, that might be worth something. Uh, B.H. Jensen, I think that says. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's pretty. I paid $10 for this. And I thought I would regret it. But I looked at the comps and I'm not going to regret it. It's a flying model rocket starter outfit. Space Shuttle Columbia, got some astronauts on there. It's uh, sealed in the box. Came from KB Toys. Used to be a competitor for Toys R Us. I think they're both out of business now. The Visible Woman. This is a science thing. You can look at the guts and the cardiovascular system and the bones and put it together and learn stuff. Singer sewing machine, uh, it weighs about 9,000 pounds. I don't know how old it is. I'll have to find out. So if nothing else, I paid, I paid a dollar or 50 cents. It was a dollar or 50 cents I paid for that. I think it was 50 cents. <laughs> There's an old Addy machine, uh, non-electric. If nothing else, I might be able to sell that to the Amish. They like those Addy machines that don't require electricity. Three Boy Scout hats, two vintage ones and one newer one. We actually had this game when I was a kid. Two cushion rebound game. Slide that there's like little marble things up there. You slide them along here. It's got the original rubber bands and they're not dried out, which is so weird. But you slide it, bounce, bounce, and then try to get the most points over here. These three tins uno, dos, three um, are all filled with Christmas stuff. You can see what's in that one. Most of it I'm not too impressed with, except one of them has actual shiny brights. I don't know if you can read that. These are very fragile. Well, they're probably not all shiny brights. That's a hallmark one. We'll go through those because Christmas is coming, man. We'll be selling Christmas stuff before you know it. Pardon me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was funny that they they put that sign up for. <laughs> oh, gone with the wind. Looks like this was printed in 1964. Maybe those are some Corel plates down in the bottom there. Probably not worth much. I might list them individual as replacements. I was going to throw these away because I thought they were just crap, but I saw at the bottom, you're not going to be able to see it in here. They have little anchors in here. So I believe they're anchor hawking. Not crackers. Whole bunch of pencils. I don't know how old they are. I don't know anything about doing vintage pencils or anything, but I know people sell them. 
hang with me i'm not done but i'm almost done and there's still some good stuff here this is filthy but sometimes these go well filthy inside and out for these models I did not get a chance to really look at them all I know is that they're vintage heritage stagecoach there was actually several of these there big international Tiger cat. This cool. Bull weevil. The last one is this honest engine. That one's cool and that one looks pretty complete. Nobody wanted this box. <laughs> I got it for a dollar. Beanie Babies in here, which I don't give a crap about. But this box. Brand new home interiors mirror. Which isn't too impressive. Check this out. Right there. That's what it's all about. Just kidding. That is creepy. What do we got? Batman hat. You see the date on that? Cheese. Senex. It's a K brand mesh trucker hat. Miller High Life. It's Designer Pro. And that's a local bank. This one is the reason I wanted the box right there. And I haven't even seen what else is in here. Zebco fishing cap. A little dirty. Can't tell how old it is. Red wing shoes, that one looks ancient. Made in the USA, I can't see a name brand on it though. Yeah, yeah, do you think it's old? It is. International Harvester one. Decalb, that's a good one. Ness, I don't know about this. It's a K brand. Massey Ferguson, that one's snowing as well. Freak. Okay. USS North Carolina. With leaves on it. Brunkow Cheese Factory. Bottle Shed. Honda ACT. ATC, I mean. I love these old anchor hawking Fire King things from the mid-century. These I sold a bunch of cups like these. These are bowls, as you can tell. Guess I didn't need to tell you that. See this, boys and girls? That's a bowl. But these crazy colors from whatever years they're from, 60s or 70s. People love them, and I got some beauties. But here's the one that really made my day. I got so excited for this. Way more than a 50-year-old man should. When I was in elementary school, 
we collected, bought, sold, traded these. We used to use little truck poles, stompers. They're little battery operated four by fours. And I was pretty darn excited to find this. So this one got away from me because it was with a bunch of other collectible toys and uh, someone else bought it and it went really high. And I thought just for kicks, I'd go see if that guy would part with this. And he sold it to me for $5. Thanks for being with me today. Um, I had a lot of fun. It was a great auction, the perfect weather. It was like 75 degrees, nice breeze. We were alongside a pretty river. There's people driving by really slowly. That's all. Have a wonderful day. Gino, I hope I did better on this video so you don't criticize me too much. <laughs> Bye everyone. But anyway, anyway, oh, I said anyway again. Anywho, at least I didn't say anyway. <laughs> ooh, 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 let's move on. Ow. Oh, I just got a sewing machine in the gut. Oh, I'm dying. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Any what? I'll start saying any what if I have to. Bless you, Chuck. Bless you. Even flow. Doing. You live in a small town and there's construction in your neighborhood. You know, a lot of people driving by slowly, like, oh, who's building that? Wonder what they're doing.